Greetings! You're watching Inside Movies Galore. I'm Septim Sen of Septim Sen vs. The World, and I am bringing you this review. Of course, I wouldn't be able to see this movie without the wonderful features I had on the Streamlit service. This is a fairly cheap way to get your indie crave on. And so, I'm going to be participating with, well, with the Streamlit site to bring you reviews from indie movies. None of them have physical releases. Many of them are first efforts, and this will be something fun that I will be doing on this site. Check them out. They do have wonderful staff. They helped me. I had a hard time running the service when I started, but they worked with me until I got it going, and I got to give them to that. So take a look at that down in the description below. But on with the review. <laughs> I'm reviewing today a short film called Would It Kill You to Be Polite? I saw the description of this film and I wanted to review it, and then I had trouble getting on the site. Go! And I still wanted to review it, and I still wanted to review it, and I said, I will review you! And I did. I reviewed it. Now, what's on a cookie? Well, not yet, but I am reviewing it now. <laughs> Dominique Gurney, I believe is the word, is G-U-R-N-Y. She brings us a dark comedy about the hazards of being rude in our common in our common society. Well, we're going to break it down into the good, into the bad, and then in the end. The good. I really did like this as a presented cautionary tale. I thought that it was a lovely plot. The dark comedy sounded fun in the description and it was indeed fun in the execution the narrator was by far my favorite character he was posh and just enough sass and ending with the word karma's a bitch you can't get better than that yeah baby yeah <laughs> the acting was also passable and sometimes really good when you're talking about anything indie at this level, I would say this is an excellent job done by the people there. I don't know if this is a first effort. I haven't done a lot of research into this, but again, this was very well done. They worked well together. They meshed. They accomplished what they were looking to accomplish. I felt exactly as I was needed to be felt. Felt. Felt up. Maybe not. <laughs> What happened? So what's bad? Well, the sound could definitely use some improvement. Again, this is probably, if not a first effort, it's probably an early effort. So sound is always an issue. I know I struggle with sound all the time. That's why I'm practically yelling into the camera. <sighs> but again it's something that we should look at we should work on and when something like that comes up it benefits the person to let them know hey hey sounds a little bit down couldn't hear some of the characters speak we gotta fine-tune that <laughs> i also wish that they had utilized the background music more because there were a lot of periods of just like total silence and then there are periods where there was background music. And if it was just one or the other, I would definitely be more inclined to say this is fine as it is. But when it's got moments of silence and then it's got moments with background music, I'm sitting there thinking, why couldn't we have this the rest of the movie? It's really good. Or really short film. Overall, though, this was a fun film. It was an enjoyable ride. And I would be glad to check it out. This film was worth the cost of entry. And I give it 7 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this review. Of course, if you like, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and let me know what you think about the movie down below.